Hey everybody, so welcome back to the shop. So what we're going to do today is, I ordered a few of these off of Etsy, but uh, this one is actually going to be for the square bit, but uh, we're going to turn a handle for it. Get these off Etsy, so I'll, so I'll put a, uh, a uh, link on the bottom to where you can find some of these. Uh, but uh, the last video I did, I broke the diamond bit, the actual thing that actually holds the bit, not the bit itself, but the piece that holds it, broke. And since PSI has discontinued these, I can't get another one. So uh, we're going to turn a new handle for the square one. I need to order one for the diamond and get that one turned. But this is the last one I did, and this was because the round bit that I uh, I had for that same handle broke, and PSI hasn't had those in sight on and on their site for a while. So, but this one is actually made out of Bacote. Um, but this next one that I'm going to do that we're going to do today is persimmon. I don't know how familiar you guys are with persimmon, but persimmon is a really hard wood. They used to, from what I've been told, they used to use these to uh, make golf club heads. So we're going to make a uh, handle out of it. Uh, we're going to go in about two inches on one end, so that way it's deep enough to hold the, um, the new tool. And uh, then we'll get it turning. But the hole I'm drilling is a 15, 30 seconds. Sorry, I had to look. I forgot what it was. So... Bear with me, I'll get this set up and uh, we'll drill it and then turn it. I forgot to mention, these also come with a little brass ring. So, just want to throw that in there. And it includes the actual bit that goes to the uh, tool. Alright, let's go get this thing turning. Alright, so I got a bug hole or something right here. So I'm going to fill it in with some CA glue, some medium. I usually use thick, but that's inside right now. So, But uh, I'm using stick fast. Um, again, as I say in all my videos, I am not sponsored by any of the products that I'm showing you guys. It's just stuff I picked up over the years. Alright, so I ran out of the uh, stick fast accelerant. But I found this Insta set. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. So, yeah. Okay, so gave this a little bit of time to dry. So let's hope I don't get glue slung all over the place. Now we just got to measure the uh, brass ring and take this down to where it'll fit and then give it a shape. About 19 millimeters. Might help if I move the tool rest. Alright, so now let's give it a shape. Alright, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then we'll go to sanding. Alright, now that we got it uh, cleaned up a little bit over here, I'm going to start sanding. I'm going to start off at 60 and work up to about 400. Moving on. 
down to the Mylan Sanding Sealer. Moving on to the Yorkshire Grit. Moving on to the OB Shine Juice. All right, so I got it flipped around, and because this isn't shored up down here, this is going to be off a little bit, so I'm going to have to reshore this whole piece right here. So I'll be doing a lot of sanding and uh, even more turning. Cool. I like the shape. All right, so now we got to sand the bottom down. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing finished up. Back to the sanding sealer. Moving on to the Yorkshire grit. Moving on to the OB shine juice. Got a nice shine going, but we'll put about two or three more coats on here and then we'll come back and we'll get this thing glued up. Alright, so here's the handle. And uh, I actually went back and sanded this part up here because I had some of the polish on it. And uh, don't think it would hold the, uh, don't think the glue would work too well on it if I uh, left it as is. So. We are going to first test fit the, all right, so it's a little loose on there, but that's okay. We'll make that work. Um, so again, we're going back to the stick fast medium, and I'm going to line the inside, sorry, it's up a little bit high, inside of the ring. All right, then slide it on there line the inside of this with a little bit of CA as well <clears throat> then that should and it doesn't Alright, so then we'll put this in here, and it should be good to go. Alright, so I had to drive it in a little bit, but as you can see, I got some good little reach on it and everything. So now what we'll do is I'll put a little bit more CA glue around the top here, spray it with the uh, accelerant, and we'll wait for it to dry, and then I'll give it a try. Now we just wait for it to dry. Alright you guys, you're getting a sneak peek at next week's project. <clears throat> Not going to tell you what exactly it is, but uh, yeah, we're testing out the, uh, the new tool handle. And uh, feels like it's in there pretty good. Looks like it works pretty good. All right, guys. So this is the hand, this is the tool. You just seen it work. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell, uh, leave a comment, 
Tell me what you liked about this video, what you didn't, and uh, thanks again.